Hello and welcome at Head Audio here in Berlin. I'm Klaus Heinz, co-founder of the company and in charge for the better products and the nicer sound. Today I would like uh, to deal with our head linearizer and I would like to start with some fundamental remarks about waves. It is known that if you have a musical waveform that it can be analyzed or decomposited into single frequencies. Each and every sound can be composed and added by different sine waves. And there is analysis possible for which frequencies are involved in a certain sound. The mathematics to do so is called the Fourier transform. And so if you send a musical signal through such an analyzer, you can exactly tell which frequency is involved and how loud it was. However, this is not the complete picture. Between different frequencies of different amplitudes, there always can be a time difference. And the time difference between two events, or in our case between two frequencies, is called a phase. And if one frequency comes behind the other one, it is a phase delay. As it turns out, in the loudspeaker, the speed of the uh, frequency goes going through is different. That means the high frequencies are faster than the middle and the low frequencies. So, similar when you have a frequency response, where you see frequency versus amplitude, there is a phase response of a loudspeaker, where you see frequency versus the delay. The delay is big for the low frequencies, middle for the middle frequencies, and small for the high frequencies. The whole thing is a phase response curve, and that is a typical property from each and every loudspeaker. This delay is inevitable because from this Fourier transform you learn if you change something in the frequency domain, you inevitably have a consequence in the time domain. You cannot change frequency uh, amplitudes or uh, properties without changing time-related phase properties. So this was a situation until DSPs arrived, like 25 years ago. These DSPs have uh, the possibility to let the music waiting in the DSP for a, t for a while. And then there is a chance to correct this misbehavior in phase response. For that, you have to measure the loudspeaker in an anechoic room. Then you exactly know what kind of mistake he does do. And then you can filter it or multiply it with a measured impulse response that has all these mistakes in it, inverse it, and you do have the time and DSP to correct each and every phase uh, error. And that's what we're doing with the head linearizer. And that is what works fine for the acoustical output because you have better transient response, you have better measurements uh, results, and you have a more stereophonic or three-dimensional reproduction. You are invited to try it out with our head monitors Mark II series. We have a linearizer switch on the back side and there you can either put it on or off and you will hear the difference and it makes sense to put it off in special cases such as if you do a live recording or whether you want to play your instruments through the speakers then you avoid the principal delay that is necessary to correct phase responses. And um, this makes a difference of like 10 to 20 milliseconds that you introduce with the linearizer. But if you only listen to something, then this delay is, is not of any importance. But you get a clearer and more dimensional reproduction of the recorded sound.